Have you heard about this doozy? Because before Iran apparently blows up the world, the United Nations wants to hit up the world with attacks, actually lots of taxes, to cover everything from fighting climate change to fighting poverty. There's talk of a billionaire's tax, a global carbon emissions tax, even plans for a World Bank transaction tax. I have no idea what that one's for. But the fact that the White House apparently isn't saying boo about it, any of it, makes some wonder whether we in the United States should be worried about it. Former UK Parliament member John Brown says we should. He's here with me now. This is weird, but can the UN actually do this? Well, only if it's supported by the members. And of course, it's a, a most open, surprisingly open and aggressive bid for world government. But of course, it fits exactly with Obama's strategy, which he openly declares is redistribution of wealth from the successful to the less successful within the United States. But this goes a whole long step further. This is redistribution of American and European wealth to the third world. I mean, it's nasty enough to pay taxes for a huge government. You think it interferes with your life. But to pay and throw it around the whole world, it's going to mean abject poverty. But it, there America. is precedent for it, right? Even among the European Union. I mean, when you go in and you fly into any one of the European Union member countries, you pay a tax, I think, that goes to the EC. You pay a variety of things that go to that community and all the member countries, whether those member countries individually like it or not. So at least on that level, there is precedent. I'm just wondering, oh, could the United Nations push this to the point where we're paying all of these extra global taxes on top of what our excessive Oh, I think so, Neil. I mean, you rightly cite the European Union. The European Union was set up by stealth and deceit. And uh, take, for example, my own country, the United Kingdom. We were taken in by the nose with being told complete lies about it involved. And now, of course, we see not only massive taxation going to the European Union, which is t undemocratic, has an elected parliament, but the parliament has no power. So very like communist Russia, they had a parliament, but it had no power. So we have this unelected body running the European Union, massive taxation, massive regulations. But in the European Union, you guys, technically, you're not part of that currency, you are part of that part Union. part of the Eurozone, but so, part so, of the European Union. So you can't say no? In other words, if, if our country, I always thought in our country, you have to go through Congress for any taxes. Um, we haven't given that right up yet, have we? No, but you see, Britain has. 80% of British legislation comes from Brussels already. And so... so you guys you know, already sold your soul. Yes, and in times Which is past, why you moved here. Yes, for freedom. And now it's being threatened here. I'm an American citizen and freedom's being threatened. But, you know, you mentioned something interesting during break. I don't want to give conversations away, but we mentioned about the top rate going up in France, that's 75%. That that is the trend globally, right? I mean, I mean, uh, uh, not to that degree, but then there'll be no place to escape. Absolutely, and that's what they want: world government, no place to escape. But in Britain, in the 17th century, we executed our king for high treason for selling Britain down the road. I mean, if they dared to say it, these leaders that took us in and keep paying all these taxes and keep supporting the European Union, which is merely a pilot scheme for the United Nations and world government. But they must know that you can't get much bang for the buck or the euro, whatever, <laughs> just constantly hiking it, right? I mean, it, they, 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 studies have been proven here, there, everywhere that you never get the money you think you're going to get. No, but of course they take from the successful, like Germany, and redistribute it to the less successful. And now, that's within Europe. But when the world government happens under the United Nations, it'll be from Europe and the United States to the rest of the world. And that's going to be very uncomfortable. I, you already see the fraction, uh, Europe fracturing. Already, Spain, Greece, Italy, this sort of thing is fracturing. People on grassroots won't stand it. I think the same thing will happen in the United States and others when they realize what's happening and you'll see a, a vast increase in the demand for states' rights within the United States. If they're made, if Americans who want uh, badly enough have been financing their own big government, if they're made to pay for other countries as well, I think Americans won't stand for it myself. They want their so. freedom. America's so. more than a country, it's an ideal. All right, well, I don't hear a lot of opposition officially to any of this. Well, under world government, me. there is no opposition. No, no. All right, buddy, thank you very much. John Brown, your Pacific Capital, he's here, he's with us now, so all is safe.